This is Seven National News and in our top story. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, has announced that the first governmental summit for UAE federal and governmental departments will be held on February the 11th and 12th. The 2013 summit, held under the theme Towards Excellent Governmental Services, will see participation from various international organizations, such as the UN Public Administration Network, Work, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, and the World Bank, in addition to other bodies and international and local senior officials and representatives. Sheikh Mohammed said that the summit will deal with the comprehensive development and enhancement of governmental services and operations, adding that such a step is at the forefront of the federal government's priorities. The ruler of Dubai stressed the importance of such a summit in acting as an, as an ideal platform for the exchange of expertise to achieve excellent governmental service. The UAE is participating in the high-level security conference in Montreal, Canada on Wednesday. The delegation is being led by engineer Sultan bin Said al-Mansouri, the Minister of Economy and Chairman of the General Civil Aviation Authority. The conference serves as an international forum for aviation security experts from over 190 states to look into current security trends and analyse international data gathered by different countries around the world. It also fosters international negotiations which lead to introducing new global regulations and policies in order to optimise aviation security. By 2015, more than 70% of chief information officers across the region will oversee connected performances of all digital technologies, a rise, a 40% rise from where it currently stands, as announced today at the Oil, Gas and Industrial ICT Summit in Abu Dhabi. The event, now running for its sixth consecutive year, provides an ideal platform for information technology professionals and oil and gas officials to convene under one roof in an effort to collaborate and discuss the latest in technologies within the energy sector. Event organisers say that the summit is significant for the integration of both sectors. The oil and gas sector is considered as a pillar uh, in, in the GCC region and of course this is uh, one of the most important areas that uh, people need to look at. Uh, information technology in the oil and gas uh, is equally important because you know now, the, the organization actually lives on the IT. It's, it's not just a tool. Uh, it becomes part of the strategy. And this is the, the thing that we are seeing in, in recent years, uh, that many organizations are now considering the IT as a strategic choice, not just uh, an infrastructure or um, um, some, some computers here and there. Data loss prevention remains a primary concern for enterprises such as Takrir, an Abu Dhabi-based oil refining company that produces 23 million tonnes per year of products for the local and export markets. The challenge, according to company representatives, is to deliver IT solutions which are reliable, robust and flexible. Meanwhile, Airwatch and Booz and Company cater to such needs and highlight how corporate information can be completely protected. What we're here to talk about today is the governance approach, which is the executive level management approach to the problem. So there's some organizational aspects such as a cyber security steering committee in a large organization or balance between corporate security and IT security and industrial security, which is something that we see that's often not managed properly in clients. And then there's also some process and scope and cybersecurity domain parameters that can be set to outline what the cybersecurity program is and things of this nature, which we often find are lacking in clients, especially with large industrial bases spread out over large territories that aren't necessarily concentrated in a corporate headquarters where people tend to perhaps be a little bit more aware of these topics. Dubai Cares has issued a grant of one million US dollars to the American Near East Refugee Aid in support of the early childhood sector in East Jerusalem, Gaza and the West Bank. 3,400 children are set to benefit from the one million US dollar donation through a two-year support program from the organization founded in 2007 by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. 
Only 30% of preschoolers in these areas have access to kindergarten, and many of the current school facilities do not meet international standards. The ECD programme will renovate and equip schools and provide training and in-service diplomas for 125 teachers. It also aims to raise awareness among parents and caregivers about positive parenting techniques. This uh, move towards early childhood development within the, uh, the Palestinian territories is actually part of a bigger strategic direction that Dubai Cares is currently undertaking, which aims to basically enhance the quality of the primary education that is being provided in developing countries. So not only are we working on providing ECD services to the children for the many benefits that early childhood development um, has proven to provide for these children, but also teacher training and literacy and numeracy are also amongst you know, the biggest programs that we're going to be holding within the next few years. The $1 million grant to ANARA is actually part of the fund that the community helped us raise in 2007. All our programs are actually based on the 2007 campaign funds, and this is also a part of that. Now, uh, the public can still help us by uh, contributing through uh, online online uh, donations on our website, and it will go towards that large fund that we sit on. Cancer is the fourth biggest killer in the region, and medical studies have forecast that 15,000 new cases of colon cancer will be diagnosed every year in the MENA region. Medical studies show that one in 20 cases of colon cancer is hereditary, which leaves 95% of cases as non-hereditary, and medical experts are currently urging the public to undergo medical checkups, as early diagnosis can detect cancer in its infancy and enhance the patient's chances of recovery. In addition to colon cancer, multiple myeloma is another condition that is becoming a greater threat in the region according to medical officials. Experts from the Saudi German hospital say that although cancer is a very challenging condition, there are ways of managing it effectively to help patients carry on with their lives and awareness must be made to prevent death and promote recovery. And finally, China and the UAE are two of the emerging economies showing tremendous growth in various sectors such as business. However, more than their prosperous economies, the Sino UAE Friendship Photo Exhibition is highlighting the strong relationship between the two countries. With the theme Friendship Partners Brothers, the show opened on Monday night with 100 photographs documenting the last 30 years of goodwill between China and the UAE. These type of exhibitions actually uh, uh, shows the diff different cultures and help exchange the information about how, uh, how the relationships today uh, reached in terms of relationship between China and uh, the UAE and other uh, Arabic countries. Uh, it's not all about the business. Sometimes you need to also include the uh, friendship, uh, culture exchange, so on, and business actually comes, to, uh, comes with it. The event will run for a month at Dragon Mart. According to Nikhil, such events encourage deep friendships in the community and promote camaraderie. With the success of this event, they say cultural exhibitions will continue across all of their shopping malls. This exhibition usually it's good activities. We would like always to promote it in Dragon Mart in our retail establishment in general because it helps create a bridge of bridge of cultural understanding and financial and a commercial type of bridging. So it's it's very beneficial. And up next for other day's business news. So stay with us.